Hello guys, I am Vikram. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up our layout, plot styles, and also how to plot to PDF. Having said that, let's get started. I have already set up the layout. Let me zoom in a bit so that you can have uh, an idea on how it's gonna look like. So if I plot this layout now, this is how it's gonna look in the PDF. So uh, uh, if you want to change the color of the uh, background, then you can do that by going into options. Under display tab, click on colors, select layout, sheets and layout. Select paper background and from here you can change the background to the color which you want. So now I can clearly see the paper space. Okay. So let's see how we can set up this in a new tab. So this is how it will look if you are creating a new layout. So this is the viewport. If I double click inside the viewport, I can directly edit the drawings which is in the model space. As you can see, I, am, I can zoom in and zoom out. If you don't want to do that, then you go to the bottom and click on the viewport lock. So now I can zoom in the paper space, but I cannot zoom in the drawing anymore. So this will come in handy if you want to, uh, uh, you know, uh, just walk in the viewport. Now let me switch back to model space. I'm gonna plot this particular floor plan in the new layout. So go to the new layout. To rename, right click, select rename. Mm, renamed okay sounds good okay uh, to change the paper size type plot select continue plot single sheet in here change the printer or plotter to uh, twg to pdf then go to properties if you want to create custom paper size you can do that by selecting custom custom paper size and then clicking on add if you want to change the printable area size then select modify standard paper sizes select the sheet that you want to modify then click on modify all the uh, top left bottom margins are zero so i'm gonna cancel out of this again cancel out of this and i'm going to select a3 this one iso okay so it's in uh, it is in landscape now now you can al uh, also change the orientation of the drawing by uh, switching to portrait and landscape here at the bottom so i'll set this to uh, portrait and i'll click okay uh, before i do that uh, if you want to change the quality of your video you can do that by changing the quality here from normal to maximum or normal to presentation if you want to give your custom dpi you can select the custom dpi and you can change the dpi value over here and also we have a couple of op couple of options inside the pdf options as you can see we have our vector quality dpi and also our raster image quality so uh, if you don't want your PDF uh, size to be large or if you want a small size PDF, then make sure you disable include hyperlinks unless and you need a hyperlink or you have any hyperlinks uh, in the drawing. So I'll click OK. I'll apply to the current plot only. We'll come back to the plot style later. Uh, as of now, I'll just click on apply to layout and OK. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna copy paste the template, sheet template that we have in this layout into the new layout. Select all the elements in the layout, including the uh, viewport. I'm gonna press Control C to copy to the clipboard. We'll go to the new layout. Delete everything that I have already. I'm gonna paste this okay you can play paste it anywhere so as you can see the layout size and the 
uh, uh, you know, uh, the template size is completely different. So in order to match that, you can either scale the elements that you have just copied or you can scale the paper size to match the element that you have uh, just copied into this new layout. So I'm, go I'm going to do the second one. Again, go back to plot. Continue to plot a single sheet. Under plot area, instead of layout, select window. Now specify the first corner and the second corner of the paper space. And now select fit to paper, center the plot and click apply to layout. And I'm gonna cancel out of this. As you can see now, we have our spaces, uh, paper space matching our layout, okay. So uh, if you notice, there is a difference uh, in, in how it looks. So if I switch back to the reference layout, as you can see, it has uh, full you know, gray uh, shades and uh, also the layout itself uh, as well. So to do that, go back to the new layout, right click, select page setup manager and click modify so uh if you have your own plot style then you can uh have that here you can select that or if you don't have one then uh if you select a cat it will plot the drawing as it is as it is displayed so all the colors will be uh, preserved if you select grayscale all the colors will be converted into a grayscale if you have darker colors, then the line will look darker. If you have lighter colors like of uh, yellow, then the shade will be a little lighter than uh, other colors. And if you select monochrome, then everything will be black. Uh, if you have given any transparency, then it will take that value and uh, uh, it will print it out. So for this example, I have already created my own uh, plot style which is this one. So if I can give you a background of what it is, I'll go to that. If I select the color seven, okay. Uh, as you can see, I have given its uh, own line weight, which is 0.3 mm, which is heavy line in this drawing. And for example, if I can give you, a, show you the hatch, let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, yeah. So color 201 has 10% screening and color two has 20% screening and color three has 30% screening. And all the colors uh, is set to black. So when I plot, it will be uh, in, the, in, a, in a gray shade. So depending on the screening, the uh, darkness will be uh, different. Okay, I'll cancel out of this. And to preview the uh, plot style, make sure that you enable display plot style. Click OK. Close. Okay, as you can see now, the entire layout is updated to the plot style that we have uh, set up now. If you don't see it after you, uh, you know, select the plot style, then type RE to region. So this should do, uh, or this should regenerate your drawing and uh, you, you'll be able to see the plot state in the layout. So I'm gonna double click on this and make sure that it is locked, okay. So when it is locked, you cannot change the scale of the drawing. If you want to change the scale of the drawing, then make sure that you are inside the viewport and then disable the lock. As you can see, now we'll be able to select this scale value so if i click on that we have a lot of different scales so if i switch to one is to one then it will set the viewport to one is to one or if you want to set the value to for example uh let's say one inch is equal to one feet then it'll take it that value so in for this drawing i think one is to three maybe yeah i think one is to three looks perfect uh, I don't usually use scale, but uh, if you want, uh, this is how you do it. Yeah. So if I uh, come out of the report, I will not get that uh, option anymore. So in order to change the scale of the report, make sure that you are inside the report. 
and you have disabled the lock okay now i have set the viewport and i'm gonna lock this because if if i if you don't lock the viewport for example if i want to make uh, any uh, you know iterations in the drawing if i zoom in to do that uh, i lost the location or the uh, orientation of the drawing inside the viewport to avoid such instance uh, make sure that uh, once you set the viewport you lock the uh, viewport okay so i'm going to double click outside the viewport to exit out of that to give you a better example on how plot style affects the drawing or how plot style and layout helps you to understand the uh, output of your drawing when you print or when you uh, you know plot a pdf so i'm, I'm going to switch to the first tab but as you can see i have a lot of hatches here uh, each has its own screening I'm going to repeat the same step just so that you know you can be double sure of uh, what we need to do so i'm going to right click on the layout tab i'm going to page setup manager click on modify so this is set to high quality print if you want you can choose this use this i most of the time use high quality print but uh, um, most of the people use dwg to pdf so you have all the options to pick from this okay i'm gonna leave this uh, to high quality print for this time and then i'm gonna select the plot that i have created so let me show you how it's gonna look uh if i use monochrome so i'll use monochrome i'll enable display plot style i'll set the dpa to 300 everything else can be as default okay i'm gonna you can either click preview right away and make the changes if if needed or you can directly click on okay uh i'm gonna click on preview now okay so uh as you can see this none of the hatch has transparency because i didn't set that when i created the hatch let me show you how, uh, what i meant I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna uh, click OK. Close. So uh, if it is not regenerating automatically, type RE to region. It has regenerated the layout. In order to regenerate the viewport, double click inside the viewport and then region again. Okay. So uh, in order to change the screening value, even though I have given this in the plot style, it is not reflecting over here because uh, we did not select the same plot style. So to change this, uh, you can either go to plot style here and change the screening value uh, by going into each uh, color uh, you know, manually, or either you can directly select the hatch, change the transparency value, here so give 80 percentage transparency so i'll match this to this and for this i will give value of 50 and i'm going to match property the outer boundary as well okay so now you can see the difference uh in the hatch so you can do this way or else you can go back to plot style and i do it there i won't recommend doing it uh by uh, uh selecting the hatch because uh if you want to create a new drawing then you'll have to repeat the step the entire process again by selecting each individual elements of the hatch so create your own plot style uh, by going to plot style uh, editor and uh save it and keep it in your local drive so that you can uh, let me also show you how you can create the plot style click on that drop down and at the bottom you click on the new select uh, start from scratch then click next so you can uh, name your plot here okay so uh, you can directly go to plot editor from here and uh, make the changes and then save or else you can click on finish and then you can again go to plot editor from here 
so this is how you do it so let me change this to uh, okay uh, let me right click on template and then page setup manager modify I'll change this to design workshop okay close exit out of that okay so as you can see the moment I uh, regenerated the drawing all the uh, plot styles are applied to the elements so this is my template which I use across all the projects if you want to know how to create your own template or if you want to know how I did then let me know in the comment box I'll definitely make a video on that our elevation looks really great after applying the plot style uh, without the plot style it looks kind of this I know it looks kind of scary but after the plot after we apply the plot style it looks much better so I have also uh, added the shadow effects if you want to know how to create a similar elevation then let me know that in the comment section if you have your plot style and uh, if you want to add that or import to AutoCAD uh, you go to AutoCAD start menu then go to print you don't have to click just hover over the print it will give you the options here so just scroll down okay click on manage plot style or manage plotter so I'll uh, click on manage plotter for you because uh, uh, we need to go to different folder from here so in case you selected this uh, you need to know that so if if I select manage plotter then it will take me to that particular folder from here do not paste your custom pl plot style uh, in this location make sure that you go to plot styles and then uh, uh, move or paste your own plot style as you can see we already have our uh, have the plot style which I, I used in the example and also we have the one that we created or right over here okay and this is how you uh, copy plot style from different or version of AutoCAD or from your hard drive to AutoCAD if you guys want me to upload a video on how to create a flow plan something like this uh, please do let me know I'll definitely do that that's it for today if you like this do not forget to like and subscribe. Until our next video, stay safe, stay healthy. Cheers.